rolling. Good morning, guys. My name is Trevor Steele with Flat Top Paramotors. Thanks for checking in on another super sweet video. I just wanted to give you guys a real quick lesson this morning, real quick uh, something something for a Monday morning. Uh, I see a lot of people go flying and they ask, like, hey, what am I supposed to do with weather? How am I supposed to check weather? This is something we talk about in Super Training, by the way. Uh, but listen, here's the biggest thing you want to check. Don't just check the weather in your area. I'm not just gonna pull up windy right here and check what the weather's gonna look like. Man, I wanna know what it is 100 miles that way and 100 miles that way and 100 miles that way and that way. I wanna know what the weather is everywhere around me. Cause let's say there's a, a, a giant storm on the other side of that mountain range over there that I don't know about that's moving this way at 50 miles an hour and it's 100 miles away. Well, in two hours, it's gonna be to me. And if I'm up in the air and a giant 50 mile an hour gust front hits, I mean, that's gnarly, dude. That's gnarly. Isn't that right, Mike? That is right. Yeah, man. You don't want to be caught in one of those. So you have to check the weather around you in a big old circle. You want to know what everything around you looks like. And I get it, man. I'm guilty of going flying without checking weather. It's one thing us pilots can do before we go fly to increase our safety. It's all about risk management with aviation, man. There's risk, an inherent level of risk, and everything you do can increase your risk. It's about bringing that risk down as low as possible, and checking weather is that. So what do I mean? Well, I pull up the Windy app, and I check the weather at the floor and at a 1,000 feet up. I also check radar. Is, uh, there's an app called My Radar, I think is what it is, and I just zoom in on my area, and I click play, and I let it play, and I watch for any movement activity. Which direction is it going? How fast is it moving? Stuff like that. I want to know if there's something over there coming this way or something over there coming this way. That's what I'm looking for. Plus, I'm looking for wind. You know, Let's say there's no wind here, but there's 25 miles an hour, 1,000 feet up. Well, I know I don't want to go up there. Because if I go up there, I'm going to be going backwards, you know, depending on how fast my glider's going. And I know it's going to be a little rough, you know. And then I got clouds. Like, take a peek at the clouds. So not only do I check those apps, but I do a visual check. I come outside, check in the front yard, man. I'm looking around. What are the clouds looking like? You know, this is a little black. This is a little brown. This isn't too pretty. I don't love that. But over here, you, know, you got some windblown clouds all the way over there. Wind blowing clouds up there. That's telling me that up high, it's going to be windier than down here. Now listen, I'm no weatherman. I'm not an expert in weather conditions. I just know what is good to fly in and not good to fly in. Uh, I'd fly today down low. And if it was any bumpy, I I'd probably land. But checking the, you know, the flag over there and feeling the wind out here, it's pretty calm. I've watched this cloud. It's not really moving. Although wind blown, it's still in kind of the same spot. But uh, again, this is something we do teach at Super Training, guys. This, you know, Super Training is not just glider control. We don't just stick you on the beach and teach you, and then in the evenings and afternoons just leave you be. We literally have a structure, a core structure curriculum that we follow. Day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everything is laid out, and we follow it to a T. We talk about everything, man. We talk about this weather. We talk about equipment. We talk about maintenance. We show you how to change spark plugs and air boxes and you know all of the things that you want to know as you're getting into this sport we do show you and we follow this structure and we've really worked hard in the last three months uh, and making this structure as good as possible so that when you come through the class you feel like you got everything plus not only are we gonna teach you at the class but our goal is to make sure you retain and keep as much of that information as possible so we send you home with things we send you home with 11 hours of ground school for you to listen to at your convenience and continue to refine your skill set and your knowledge because it's more than just a skill set you got to have the knowledge you know you got to know what it is that's going on you got to know what you're looking at in addition to flying the glider which is obviously the biggest thing we do at super training i mean the thing that makes us so unique at super training is our focus on glider control now i'm not saying there's no other schools that don't teach glider control but what i am saying is i'm damn sure that if you come through super training, you'll know how to fly that freaking glider better than anywhere else uh, will teach you. I mean, I know for a fact you'll know how to fly that glider to a T, glider control. It is the key to flying a paramotor. I mean, imagine flying an aircraft that you don't even know how to control. Uh, it just, it doesn't make sense to us, which is why we focus so much time and energy at super training on glider control. It's the reason we go down to Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, but anyways, enough of my rambling. We've got a class coming up uh, 
April 1st to the 12th. We've already got a couple guys signed up. After that, we've got June, September, November. We only take 12 students a class. So don't miss your chance. Call us right now, 800-707-2525. Uh, and speak with a real person. Ask questions. You'll be talking to me. Ask me questions about gear, equipment, weather, anything and everything that you got. Uh, and if you're ready to sign up, give me a call at 800-707-2525. And we will help you get started. Uh, thank you, Mike. You can stop now.